need uh, squad leads, you'll asking your squads to see if you can't find one or two riflemen who uh, can run the mortars, uh, and they'll they'll join command. Squads uh, two and three are going to do some foot patrolling. You guys are going to probably cross the river, uh, try to hit them before they get on our side. Uh, squad four is going to take the striker. They're going to escort the lodges, and then the rest of the the squad of squad four, Krusty, your guys are going to go up to radio. You're going to be the uh, kind of my eyes up there for mortar spotting. It's pretty simple defense. Uh, so once those two squads are on foot patrols, once they get in contact, they're going to skirmish back. They're going to break contact, come back, hit them again, come back. You know, just keep hitting them and delaying them while we can build defenses. Hopefully, get some mortars on them, uh, screw them up a little bit, and then the course the end fight will be here so uh, if you lose command come back to uh, the pop location so any questions comments would you volunteer for mortars uh, yeah i'm gonna I, i'm gonna ask you guys for one or two riflemen who know how to work mortars to join my squad okay you said you're not here yeah I've, I've okay at one who's uh, squad is gonna be driving the lodgy truck okay and fungi I'd like for uh, one of your guys to drive Logi. Tap. Uh, exhibit. I got two that want any more. Alright, have him join my squad. Do you I'll want two drive side for both Logis? Uh, yeah, tap, squad. tap, get two guys to drive Logi side of your squad since you're just building. Love you, fun guy. Alright, guys, that's all I got. Uh, squad leaders, break him out. Let's get set up and let the Russians know we're ready right. to. Uh, Order the shit out of them. Uh, do you want me in the striker or do you want me on the radio with my Binox? All right, folks, we're back. Sorry about that advanced weapon systems video. <coughs> Still needs a little work. Uh, it was actually too good, to if you believe that. But we're back for round two of Operation Crazy Horse. I'm Muff. I'm here with Puga Chip. Uh, we're on Kohat. It's May 10th. And this is Squad Ops. Wow, it's May 10th already. <laughs> yeah. Wow. We had a pretty good first round. Very, basically dominated by the USA. Russia had struggles. They rolled their BTR in the beginning. And and so it was a little tough on them. Those mortars a were bit of bad luck. Oh, an excellent mortar work by the That's U.S. also. Yeah, it was but, really yeah. stopping Russia. Yeah, but we've flipped it around now. The Russians are now the U.S., and the U.S. is now Russia. I'm going to be following the U.S. Nothing has changed for their team, but if you're just tuning in, I'll read them off to you. Their commander is Xbit. He's actually the guy that you were first on when we started this stream because he was given his briefing. His squad leaders are Krusty the Sailor, Part-Time Ninja Turtle, OD Tap, and Hammered Hebrew. Pukachev's going to be following the Russians who are going to be attacking. He's going to tell you exactly who's leading the charge right now. Yep, we still got a Lishin Command. Big Yes, Satan, Sensei Mike, and Shadowed Ritual. Still leading the squads. Got a few people who have probably had to dip out between rounds, but... You know, for the most part, they're still pretty full strength. This is going to be interesting seeing uh, their take on the offensive. Hopefully they don't, you know, lose the BTR before it even gets in the fight. But it's definitely going to be interesting seeing how they try it and uh, mitigate the threat of the mortars from the U.S. And it's also, the whole game is just going to change depending on where the U.S. puts that fob. That's, that's a big part is the terrain you have to, you know, go over and through. To get to that, uh, you know, vital objective, that's the focus of the whole mission. Well, the FOB is pretty much right on the Hotel India line, in uh, Hotel Nine, India Nine line. Oh wow! So they've they are way south. They're actually south of the radio tower. They just picked one little compound. It's not in too bad of a spot, it appears. They've got a lot of hills around them, though. They're if the Russians get behind them to their east, and it could get rough. 
or to the south, you know, they can get that BTR on the south. But you know what? They got mortars and they got a striker. No, it's going to be good to see. For Russia. And I think that, that, yeah, the U.S. are already briefed, ready to rock and roll. Just waiting for live. It appears OD Tap Squad is going to be constructing. They've all still got shovels out. Getting ready to dig. I guess most people still have their safety shovels out. Yeah, I just heard Lish. He uh, mentioned the mortars, so he's definitely uh, you know painfully aware of the damage they inflicted on the enemy team last round, and uh, he's gonna be you know careful to not try to put his team in a position where they'll get stopped you know stone cold in the tracks by that. Yeah, and and he proved last round that if you. You don't keep your guys moving a little bit; they're gonna take you out, and that's exactly what they did. The OD Tap Squad up on the hill, just completely—I I mean, cut their cut the squad in half, killed five of them with mortars. Yeah, that's what they got to keep in mind. You know, the terrain they're able to use—they they always need a route that they can keep momentum and keep moving. They can't go onto a, a peak or, or something like that with no you know real exit because you're trapped up there, or, or or you have to go back where you came from, and mortars could cut that off too. So that's what you got to be thinking about among other things when you're going up against and even employing mortars. Oh, do we have sound yet? Yeah, who knows? I think I saw a live time. Live at 140, so a minute and 20 seconds we're going to be live. And, well, the U.S. is ready. They got both Lodgies ready to run. We will be going in 57 seconds. Doesn't look like all, any US, uh, U.S. guys are ready to take off sprinting to a certain lo setup location or anything. So probably going to take their time for the most part, build up defenses, set emplacements, set up their mortars, and run run supplies like the Dickens. Thirty seconds till we're live. I don't think the fob reaches all the way to that radio tower hill. It might. <laughs> they could actually they can stay out of sight pretty well they're probably going to build a whole bunch in this little dip that they're in but the Russians are going to either have to see them from the south across the river or actually get pretty close on the west to, to look down and catch them I guess we'll see whether Lish decides to, uh, you know, put all his eggs in one basket or spread everybody out and find them first. All right. So the U.S. are spreading out. Part-time Ninja Turtle is taking his squad directly south. Now, I'm not sure if they are going to cross the river. I'm not sure what they're doing yet. Meantime, Odie Tap's got his guys building stuff everywhere. Inside, they're going to protect that fob. They've got Hesco's right, going no, down. They're going to wait till they they're fishbowling this compound for the most part. We've been probably choking them into the entrances. I can see Hammered Hebrew taking his guys to the west, covering that western approach. So it looks like... It totally looks like Xbit is spreading everybody out. Russia's just getting over an AFK guy in the uh, driver's seat of an MTLB. That's great. <laughs> but up a slow start.
Man. Krusty the Sailor taking his guys to the north. Yeah, Russia's having some technical difficulties. I think our stream is too. But everything will be good to go when we restart it. They just had a Lodgy come east instead of going straight north, but I think uh, whoever's driving, I think it's Big Yes, has got a different route planned, even though he's going to the same endpoint. He's just doing it his way, which is totally fine. If he thinks he can uh, make it there easier or better. Krusty the Sailor is taking his guys up to Radio Tower. They're almost up there. I'm not sure what their plan is when they get here. Hammered Hebrew is way west. I think they're heading over to that little peaky hill. Not quite sure. They're just staying low. Faku laid down. Part-time ninjas guys all the way south. Two, four, six, seven of them. Has he got a smaller? He does. I see smoke so he lost a couple guys. It looks like the far bridge. That might be a waterfall. That might be a waterfall. <laughs> Part-time Ninja Turtle just called out the waterfall by the bridge at Malakabad. But they all realized that's what it was. Don't highlight. Do not skylight. Do not skylight. Yeah, like, hide behind the hill. Don't land on top of it. Kind of thing. Ninja Turtle is making sure his guys do not skylight, telling them to stay down. Uh, out of command, sight. I got eyes on the BTR. It's moving uh, southwest. It's way far out there. Krusty the Sailor just called out the BTR. That road going in, yeah. You know, I think. Uh, Oh, well, part-time ninja just saw the infantry way to the west over there. There's like four guys or five guys way over there. It's good eyes. He saw them way out there. We're confirmed uh, BTR is going through Golf 10. Krusty's calling out that BTR. He's, he's letting part-time ninja turtle know that it's there. Where is the rest of his squad at? Oh, they're out just staying down. Hotel pen. Staying low, out of sight. My lat's ready. Now the way this road comes around in front of the BTR, the infantry is certainly going to see him, but not sure if the BTR will notice the infantry. <clears throat> All right, it's about to roll on top of you. Oh, they're stopping to yeah. observe. Part-time Ninja Turtle squad He's should have road, one lat. He's on the road. And I see part-time sneaking up there. This is a perfect I think chance. His lat yeah, is well. actually. His lat is Lieutenant Sheldon. He doesn't like he wants me to die. Let's see if he calls him up here. Oh, there's some infantry got out. Yeah, it looks like they're scouting out the fob right now, but I don't think they know there's infantry about to sneak up on them, especially if Ninja can have his squad flank around just well enough, they're going to take it by surprise, as long as it's occupied with firing on whatever it's firing on right now. Oh my god, they killed somebody. Oh, nice. Who did oh, they, they get? They, they got they Darman. Might, they might be getting wise. They just got Darman. Ah, poor Darman, man. Sucks. First one to die. Yep. I think they're Gosh. trying to figure out this infantry closer than they thought. Yeah, part time Ninja Turtle's real close, actually. He's. I I heard it, but I have no idea. 70 meters from the BTR, maybe? All right, sounds like we are good to go with the stream now, so we're going to do a quick catch-up for everybody.
as the BTR just takes out the lat for part-time Ninja Turtles. Oh, so no. They have no lat. <laughs> that was Lieutenant Sheldon going down. Oh, man. Basically, this BTR pushed to the south. Part-time Ninja Turtles squad was down here on the south side. Uh, they started pushing it. Now they're sighted and lost their lat. The FOB is in the Hotel India 9 line in this compound that I'm floating right above right now. I believe that's where the mortars are. Yeah, I see the mortars being placed right now. Probably going to start honing in on the BTR. Crusty the Sailor took his squad north to Radio Tower. Right, Hammered Hebrew took his squad northwest. To the, they are uh, in the dips west. over by Malaka Bad. And the Russians west. are coming. Where are they coming from, Pugachev? Well, the BTR is backing off. Uh, Lish is acutely aware of the fact that mortars are a big player in this round, especially since he made, you know, great work of them, great use of them last round. So the BTR is pulling out at uh, Lish's behest. The rest of the uh, Russian team is kind of just slowly progressing in concentrated groups on over to where the FOB is located on the uh, Hotel India line down at the uh, 9 uh, grid. MTLB is taking a bit of a long run around. We got a Lodgy, or uh, rather a transport as well. There we go. All right, I found the found the mortars. They're actually in the field to the east of the FOB. All right, looks like uh, I have so eyes they, on they could be exposed from a long ways away, but there they are. It's like X bits trying to hone him in. And it appears the BTR is long gone now, huh? Oh yeah. Right. Yeah, the BTR is busy picking up. Uh, I believe some infantry might have dropped off earlier. Six hundred meters. I hear Chris and say they're calling out the BTR, saying that it's gonna maybe come rolling through Mozai. He doesn't know. There goes a few mortar shots. I wonder where they're going to. I'm going to go get eyes on over here. Where are the mortars? Oh, gosh, no. Not even close. Mortars are about 300 meters short, looks like. They only got about oh, halfway to their target. Okay. Yeah, definitely the barbed wire on the outside. And I don't think anybody saw the the mortars land, so they don't even know where they hit. Yeah, those mortars Meantime. are definitely meant for, you know, slower or stationary yeah, targets because that, that in-air flight time of yeah, I'm scanning. like 20 I'm seconds is uh, it's pretty hard to gauge lead-wise. So a moving unit like, you know, infantry, that is possible to predict, but something like a vehicle... Even on roads, it's, it's hard to count out, you know, 20 seconds into the future in your brain, especially with, with a vehicle. It's just a hard oh, yes, weapon system so. to make use of, especially since it's so communication-focused and coordination. Now, as the Russians are moving around, I see the U.S. aren't at all. And... Uh, it, it's good for now, but it, they could end up paying for it if Russia sneaks in from the back and gets in on that fob. They take all that out. They're going to be hustling back just to try and salvage anything, and all of a sudden they're going to be on just looking for targets. offense instead of defense. We have uh, eyes on a transport, 330. About 400. It's full. I'd say the main difference yeah. Yeah, between defensive techniques that the, the U.S. are using this game between last round Hold and this round around. Hold on. is that U.S. is Rough spread out in a different fashion. They've got a different FOB location, and it's less like Hotel centralized between all the defenders. Two. And, you know, last round they had a perimeter, now it's pushing and when it got breached, they, you know, allocated reinforcements to different areas, yeah, kind of bounced back yeah, so they people where they needed it. And this round, it kind of seems like they're just trying to get to high points, 
and uh, places with good view of different areas. Not necessarily good places to defend from or just, you know, covering an entire area with people. But they're, they're more looking for eyes and information. And then I'm assuming they're going to pull right, back at some point and strong point once they know where the enemy is actually coming from. I yeah, I can see part-time Ninja Turtle yeah. bringing his guys back from the south. So I think they, they're just assuming that the Russians are not going to come from the south anymore. And and it looks like the U.S. have actually, they're starting to build a bigger perimeter outside just the compound, kind of doing what the U.S. did last round. Oh, uh, fire coming, fire coming. Some room to fall back. Oh, gosh, fire, that fire, BTR fire, taking fire. very sure long direction, shots here. We're taking it. Getting up. From the hillside, way, way over there. And they're actually they're right, shooting a little high. Yeah, you stay inside. You're gonna need So, not really clear to me at this point whether Russia actually has solid intel on where the U.S. FOB is, because you've got some dudes, you know, out in the weeds. Kind of moving up to where the FOB was last round, which has Squad 4 moving you know, towards U.S. Main, so we might be bringing them down for a flank later. I think they might actually know, have a better general idea now, because these guys are moving back towards the direction of the U.S. FOB. Oh, there the strikers shooting back at the BTR a little bit. I can't tell if he's hitting it. Looks like he might be hitting with a couple. Is it the striker hitting us? Yeah, that's a game the mortars. Yeah. that's pretty yeah, hard to play. Kinda close. I think I hit him three times. Striker on BTR action is that's uh, uh iffy at east at, at uh Oh wow my words. I'm off I'm off fill the words. What what word am I looking for? What what were you saying? I'm sorry. I'm saying the striker on BTR combat is, is iffy. Golf six keypad three. Well, long range like that, it's a crapshoot. I mean, you're just taking shots to see if you can hit them. You're not firing accurately. They gotta, you know, have to walk those bullets in. Oh, but they're that they're hitting it. That was that was pretty good shooting by that 50 from a long ways away. Looked like they were hitting right, them pretty cool. well. I've, I've hit it a few All times, right, I think. be careful. Uh, they had some mortars land about 200 meters. Oh, yeah. They might have, it looked like they were trying to aim for me. I was on that hill, but I'm already off the hill and moving. That's all guesses. Oh, you're probably right there, too. Yeah, definitely. And that striker will eat machine gun fire for a long time before it goes down. Head on head, that the striker will beat the BTR in this game. Oh yeah, you can hit. You can hit that uh, BTR with a with a, or I'm sorry, the striker with a hat, and it'll drive off. If it's near enough to a repair station, it'll actually get repaired and, and live on. Are you right in front of us? Yeah. When uh. Oh yeah, Wookie right MT right said it. It's the biggest fish in the pond, all right. Until you pull out the. And then, uh, the 30 oh, mil. Yeah, be able to get eyes. yeah, when we get localized damage in the game, it's further. probably going to be resistant yeah. to 30 mil, at least on the front arc. That's, that's the way it really is. But the, the sides are still going to be pretty vulnerable to 50 cal. Ah, I see. It's an interesting vehicle, and the one they have modeled in is, you know, the older model. It's not the double V hole. And the engine's pretty weak. But they are relocating this striker up to the radio tower right now. They'll be able to see everything from up here. That's Hitchens in the gunner seat and Stray Dog 2626. Driving. 
Oh, we might get to see some fire here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, if nice. he looked north, if he looked north farther, he could catch a whole another squad. Someone's shooting at him. Yeah, Merrick 362 sees him. There, he's changing it up. See if he starts taking some shots with that 50. Oh, he's got to see those guys. There, he's going. I think that's D mine 21 and someone else. Oh, he nicked him. He clipped whoever that was. They're so far away, I can't read their names. Well, they are not happy with their present situation. That is. Oh, I think it was Dr. Wymath. That's who it was, and he got hit too. Oh, there goes one. Oh, gosh. And there goes Lish with the information. He's got confirmed striker. On, uh... I think the BTR is hitting the striker. Yeah, that BTR is, is poking the striker from way out there. As far as I know, I think Lish has direct control of that BTR yeah, right now. It's near him. Yep, I see my... He's I got the ability to call its fire directly. That striker's still looking around. They are fully aware of the Russian offensive to the north. And actually, there's an MTLB and a transport up there to the northwest. Also, could be bringing more guys. All right, that's good. All right, infantry dismount. The MTLB has dismounted infantry. I think that's Sensei Micah with the MTLB. That BTR is really giving Krusty the Sailor a hard time in his squad. He's calling them out, and I just—I don't think they it, quite know where it's at yet, and it's that way out there. Damn that radio! Too hot. He's right behind the. Part-time Ninja Turtle just called out the BTR. Yeah, yeah. Uh, jump to try and get the infantry. Tracers work yeah. both ways. Well, I saw some mortar fire hit. It's still short of the BTR. I think that was short. BTR is moving. BTR acknowledges that and he's he's bouncing out. I got three uh, full, one yellow and one red. Copy. I don't know yeah, what he's shooting at. In northeast, we gotta keep watching that is area. Is it the BTR? I think so. Merrick 362 is laying down that saw fire. He's not afraid to shoot some lead at him. Yeah, they're trying to flank around to the east to the uh, of the striker, not having luck. Everywhere Russia's moving, the U.S. see them. But they're staying spread out, so the U.S. have got to constantly cover every angle, or they're gonna they're gonna get in trouble eventually. BTR crew is acutely aware of the fact that mortars are really bad for its health. It's busy relocating to a different position right now, picking up his squad leader. From you, so that they'll land close to you, and I'll be okay. That did not happen. Oh, those mortars are actually pretty close. Oh, good shots by Hitchens and the striker. He's suppressing the hell out of him. I don't think he's killed anybody yet. There, one's down finally. Another one's hit. Another one's down. All right, so whoever that far northeast squad is for Russia just took a couple casualties. A third one. Getting beat up a little bit. Krusty the Sailor's getting his squad into the striker. They're going to head back down to their Alamo. So we get isolated. Hang around. RTB. Go to the bomb. Left. 
in. Xbit just called hammered Hebrew back from the northwest. Command, where do you want us? Throwing the mosey on back, but pick up any. See run. if he can't pick up any infantry Before crossing the river down by Mod's Eye. And if he does get Not sight down there, he Not will that. see somebody Ten coming. Five. Say that again. Indian. Uh... Squad 4 is going to go to Indian 9, keep at 5. We're going to do another. Russia is trying to figure out where the striker is right now. They're calling it out as last seen on radio tower. Well, they are down at the base, and they're actually going to do another lodgy run. So a couple guys are going to jump in the lodgies, and the striker's going to escort them back to Maine to get supplies. And they still think the striker's on radio tower right now. I'm assuming that BTR is going yeah, to... I guess they don't have any reason not to believe that. Lish is trying to flank the MTLB around and get some some of those NSV rounds into you know the side or the rear if he can. But he's uh they're not having luck getting eyes. Are they maybe waiting for a Lodgy run to happen? If a Lodgy run comes, that uh, MTLB could probably take out a truck or two. I, I be bet the you bet. the striker will wipe him, but. That's uh, but you never know. It would be probably the better bet is you know find where their lodgy route is, place the vehicle along it, get a nice little ambush going. Although they got it, well they had it, nice and uh, camouflaged behind some trees. It's rolling out now. All right, here's I think they're bringing the lodgy basically just for the mortars, so that you can supply can resupply. And the strikers leading the way. Hebrew just heard the MTLB. He has audible on it, he called. It's a race to who's going to get to the firing point first. Oh, the MTLB stopped. I'm sure the striker will beat it, but they know, they definitely know that there are people here because they just shot at guys down here. Looks like the MTLB is going to try and get an elevated position and be able to fire down while they're crossing the road. Or well, moving alongside the road, rather. You know, I don't know, Wookie, if uh, the striker's low or not. They've been firing pretty liberally, but it, it's got a big drum mag on it. It's safe to say he's got some fight left in him. I want to say each box on the Crows is about 400, 500 rounds, but I could be mistaken. I think you're pretty close. I know I've heard it before, but I can't remember. Yeah, I'm in the same boat with you. Well, MTLB just missed the party, but if he sticks around, you might be able to find him on the downswing. Oh. There we go, I see that MTLB. Yep, that's what they're doing right now, as a matter of fact. They're trying to in place, get a nice view on the MSR that the uh, U.S. supply convoy is using. And here they come. Yeah, I know Mori Eats Kids and another guy for Russia definitely saw them go by. And here they come. That, that MTLB is going to be ready. It needs to find itself a position, though. He can't really see the row from where he is. Oh, gosh. More he eats kids. It's right there on the side of the road. He might try the to take out the driver. It out, and the striker's just hauling ass. Oh, Oliver. Oh. Is he going to make it? Is he going to oh, make it? wow. He's running. Oh, he's alive. He is lucky. My squad is saying BTR is... H10, keep head force. <laughs> and you know what? It looks like they skated through just fine. Russia said Striker blew past us with a Lodgy. And that <laughs> might be an understatement. That Striker was screaming. 
Oh yeah, that, that striker was that Lodgy almost hit a tree. Flew down He'd that been road. So screwed if that happened. But he held her together. You got an infantry moving up, trying to oh, here we go. choke we out this get... MSR. We might see this striker engage the Take BTR. Oh, I'm sure he sees it. You're going back to Tuxarai. Oh, he... Nope, he doesn't yet. I think Lish is doing the right thing with this BCR. He's so keeping it here, back where at range where it's most percolate. useful. Trying to use that gun to uh, his advantage right without here. putting the armor at risk. The gun poking up, yeah, and he's keeping moving. North. That's one of the big things he's doing. That's also, yeah, that's also a really yeah. big thing. Because those Sados. mortars, if they zero in, probably, you know, bad times ensuing after that. Yep. And I am. Oh, bye bye, Striker. Bye bye, Striker. Something just happened to the Striker. I don't know oh, what it was. No. It just bounced up, like, out of nowhere. It just bounced up and flipped on its side. You'll see it. Um, I'm pretty sure you see it on my stream. Just out of nowhere, it's like its hydraulics went haywire, and it freaking bunk landed on its side. So that's a pretty stroke of bad luck for the U.S. right there. Their, their main weapon just went down. Just rolled onto its side. Taxpayer dollars at work. Oh, gosh, but I found Hebrew squad right above. Somebody else is, is that Lish? Lish is right down there. Oh, he is, isn't he? Wow. Command India 7, keypad 2 is the MTLB yeah, and half a squad. India 7, keypad 2. Oh, how does Hebrew not see yeah. anything? Oh, they're right there. He's going to get shot in the head. Oh, my gosh, Hebrew, move. India 7, keypad 2 is a good mortar <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, Lish knows about him. They know. Lish is calling for an ambush. Oh, there oh, it goes. There, there it goes. Down goes, down goes Hammer Hebrew. Here we go. There's Roz. Oh, He's got their whole... Here comes CeeLo up on him. Lish is right there to the south. Cool breeze. And Lish knows he's just taking out a piece of the chain of command for the U.S. team. You saw that radio on the back of Hammer. Let's see. This is going to lead the way. Faku's bandaging. Oh, oh. Lish walks up on him and drops oh, him. This is why it's important be careful. to clear your angles. It's Crispy's right here, waiting for the next one. Oh, ooh. Saved. Roz gets taken out. Saved. We're down to Crispy. This is a Ranger Crow. Just save CeeLo's ass. That's why they push as a team. No, I, don't, I don't think it's Crispy knows where he's going to go now. Yeah, he's not sure. But he's... Russia's heading back down the hill. I think they, uh, they're under the impression that they finished off the U.S. forces on that area. That was well executed. They did a good job. I gotta say, yeah, that worked out pretty well. It's uh, good on Lish for executing that. Yep, yep, yep. Good work. As for kills, we're at six for USA, ten for Russia. Good job. Let's say move around the river to our north. And Lish certainly knows the importance of that. He's definitely aware they took out an SL, like I said earlier. If you look on your map, it's uh, in keypad nine of the next grid square across. We'll move up that and come up that way and see what we can Well, who do we got? We got. Looks like the remainder of Hammered Hebrews squad just to the north of Crispy. And there's Crispy starting to fall back. He felt like he had an opening, so he's going back to meet up with the rest of his squad. What's the ammo count? Four. Squad four just and another left. thing with the loss of that striker, they cannot run Lodgy anymore. Yep, that cuts off their supplies and then that's. One of their main deterrents for the BTR. Now, if the oh, BTR gosh. just stays mobile and gets good positions, he can rain fire on uh, enemy infantry that's been spotted in open positions. 
We lost Krusty the Sailor and Hitchens. Hitchens was a lat gunner. How those mortars? How those mortars? So the U.S. are starting to run low on lats. Are good, I think. They've lost two, and they've lost two squad leaders. Mortars. Now, Lish Shift might be left. about to run up Five zero on some more Uf U.S. infantry here in a second. Oh, gosh, I yeah, they are right over there. We'll have to see if, if he sees them again before, before they actually see each other. Oh, wow. The MTLB just took some shots at the striker. I think they know that it's rolled now. Yeah, we're trying to move dark south. We're trying to get to the base of the hill. We're almost at the base of the hill. Gen Grill is shooting at Radio Tower with his saw. And here we go. Lish is just right next to a U.S. squad. That MTLB is is shooting at the striker. They're going to blow it up pretty soon. There it went. It blew. All right, they're engaging. And the U.S. have already lost one over here. Looks like it was. I don't know. Oh, Lobo nice Mago's little down. trade. Some frags. Traded with Cool Breeze. This is gonna try and push. Oh, there goes a good frag. Good looking frag. Might be a bad decision. Oh, oh so close. That hit CeeLo and Lish both. Getting lucky. CeeLo's bandaging. Lish is bleeding. Oh, there goes it's Lish. It's Crispy is bleeding. Could not bandage in time. That frag did a little bit more damage than I originally thought. Here comes another one, I think. Another frag just got thrown. Oh, this could be the one. They know. Nope, I didn't. Nope, he did not. He was reloading, I, I think. One. Saloon number 12's got a good little point he's laying on. He's See, this is when it's important ever so slowly. for, you know, if your command goes down, your chain of command above you, especially if you're in a situation like this where, you know, action is needed pretty much right now to just take charge and make a decision. Whether that's, you know, push into the enemy and try to keep going at them or pull back, but do it as one group. That's the important part. It looks like Russia's got a lot of guys on the radio tower. They've got the MTLB up there. And they are lighting up this northeast hill. Can you go ahead and break contact to yourself? Copy. Do you want us to fall back to the fob, or do you want us to go... Oh, ahead? Lish ran out of ammo. And then I think you bled out. That was a good nade he threw at you, Lish. Joe, Joe, can... uh, yeah, four, I want you to break contact south, and I want you to come back up. All right, they have uh, broken city. contact. Uh, Heading just north of the fob. Let's cover. Uh, get ready for that squad. Oh, but right. Shadowed Rituals got some guys oh, really yeah. close on the east here. Ranger Crow just threw a beautiful nade. Oh, we got another one coming in. A little bit too short. But that first one landed right in between Crispy and Tyrant. Now we're going to see if they're going to try and push. Or they're they're being pretty timid now. I mean, of course, they're only a three-man team. They got a flank coming up on them. Saloon. CeeLo doesn't see him. Oh, there goes CeeLo. Oh, another one. This is where it counts. One-on-one. -on -one. Until his friends come back. And he's going to back off. Saloon's going to back off. In the meantime, I think they're positioned in the lodges as defensive lines or something. I'm not sure what they were. They're still moving them around. I don't know what their plan is with them. They're being much more conservative with the mortars, though, because they can't resupply again. Are we taking to a vehicle? MTLB is on the move. Enemy armor might direct northwest. Uh, audio. The MTLB has been called out. Part-time ninja saw. X-Bit just called it out too. BTR to was looking for 
U.S. soldiers, but they've pulled back from the previous engagement they were in. So they're going to have to start repositioning. Without Lish having them position and uh, move where he needs fire support, they're kind of headless right now. Oh, there goes a the mortar. Let's see where it hits. Here comes another one. We'll see them land in a second. A little bit short. Tap, I don't think I can get That'll that. scare him off, though. Just dump mortars, just dump mortars, regardless of them. Yeah, we got a couple of Russian squads doing a bit of a wide flank over exit? here to the east. No. Oh, they but got a little closer with the mortars. Getting close kind of fast to start exploiting. What they've got going on, on close into the fob right now. Otherwise, these guys up here are going to... And there's the Russians from the northeast. More Eats kids laying down some fire. They are utilizing the U.S. They're totally using the U.S. sandbags right now. Shadowed Ritual, Ronald Reagan, Jenga Master, and More Eats kids is up on top. He's bleeding right now, bandaging. But they've got a whole other squad. Since they, Mike's got his squad coming in behind. Part-time Ninja Turtles moving a flank to their south. He's got Red Player with them. Merrick, Fafinator, all shooting back. Fulcrum shooting back. Make sure your stamina's up so you can run. They're, they're cussing. Four, how's your progress? Let's yeah, see if part... Oh! MTLB just drops Part-time Ninja right, from so across the mountain. Oh, man. Red player hits the deck. He's all by himself now on the south. Doesn't know where to go. He's just crawling along. Yes, no, I'm gonna bleed out. I don't wanna bleed out. MTLB might be stuck in a bit of a weird position. Oh, down goes Polcat to the MTLB. They've still got decent Overwatch, though. Yeah. Oh, oh, and it just. Did some weird things. Fun Guy Five is move, moving to meet up with Red Player. I don't know if they're going to continue the flank or just try and get back to cover. Now the BTR is straight now. west. BTR blows up one Lodgy. Wow, that couldn't have been better timing for the BTR to pick up the fire. And you can see the U.S. are starting to fall back. They're really getting surrounded. GR still taking shots. Trees, two to zero kill death ratio. Yeah, you're right, Wook. Not even a BTR can chop him down. Oh, BTR is. Oh, gosh, Raising there goes. To the ground. Yeah, that was. Was it Avalash? Avalash goes down. This is great. They're on the opposite side of the infantry. Now the U.S. have to worry about two di different directions. And there's an MTLB to their north. It's rough. Oh gosh, it it just ate them up. That BTR is just eating people up. I must be demined in the gunner's seat of that thing. He's got ten kills. Yeah, it certainly is. But he's he's running a little low on ammo. He says. Yeah, I just have. He got ten kills. He did pretty good with the ammo he's got. It's moving by itself now. And Jay Remick fell through the map. That'll happen. Yeah, I'm just falling. See you later, Jay Remick. I can just hear him being like, Bye! I'm to attempt a flank he fades out of sight. He's checking his map, seeing where he's at. <laughs> he's right below the MTLB, I guess. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, uh, he's, he's through the floor, the poor guy. Got some smoke grenades out. Yeah, Jay Rimmick's just having some issues. Apparently he's under the map. <laughs> yeah, we got a...
contacts on the hill with us. They're trying to push. Up, they're trying to push us on this base. Wow. Oh, there's a couple guys oh, bleeding up on the hill. The U.S. are making them work to get any farther. Oh gosh, there we go. Fun guy five and red player coming up right behind him. We might see a good grenade throw here. They're not because they they've been spotted by the BTR or the or the MTLB. They don't know what to do. They can't peek the hill because there's two vehicles looking at them. They're communicating well, though. They're, they're talking to each other. Just going from Ridge. Yeah. I need to get some stamina. Yeah, they're just figuring it out. They're... That BTR with the little to the left of it. They know where both vehicles are, and they are threatened severely by them. Let it build if you want it. State. Oh gosh, full squad to the south down here. There's six guys down to the south about to push up this hill. They've got all four sides covered of this U.S. compound. They, the U.S. have got north, south, east, and west. Lots of prone U.S. soldiers here. A whole lot of them. Ready to push, shooting back a little bit. Oh, they got one. Ronald Reagan goes down. Gosh, I think I think we're down to just OD tap leading the show again. There is red player up on the East Hill has got squad lead, and so does Gangrel, One, you may have your direct... who was in Krusty the Sailor's squad. Copy that. Contact uh, never mind, he's dead. Yep. It's a very bright map. So Shadow Grishul, Jenga Master, and Mori Eats Kid still on the east side for the Russians. They've got Red Player and Fun Guy 5 just to their east northeast, but that's they're not really a threat because they have the BTR and the MTLB covering them from the west and the northwest. And here comes the BTR. Looks like they've abandoned They have they've abandoned the MTLB. Yeah, the MTLB was having some issues. Decided they like to, you know, defy gravity. BTR Sensei is having Mike that has got too. Sensei Mike's got six guys coming in the south on the U.S. If you want, like, they're, they're friend, very close. They're getting into position. Yes, when they walk up there, they have the potential to kill about five guys. Hold here, yeah. Now, whether they make the, oh, there was a grenade. Okay. Silver down. pud. There's another one. That one bounced back a little bit. BTR is just mounting infantry close to the compound. They're spreading out and getting down. Oh, Turner just did a bunch of flips when somebody shot him. I think it was Joe that shot him. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna pump smoke and start moving in. Copy. There's Skelly throwing a grenade from the west. Let's see if it got in. It did not, but it hit Joe on the outside and it also hit Gangrel. Here comes a smoke grenade. Someone from Russia just fired a rocket into the compound. Alright, Gangrel is in rough shape and actually the other guy died. Joe died. Yeah, he went down from it. Yeah, Joe got hit by the grenade. He's down. <laughs> Sorry, the other guy. I thought that might have been Tap hasn't moved. He's been sitting there against against that sandbag for ten minutes now. He just keeps hiding in the stairwell. I think Russia's about to breach this compound. They are. They're coming in. Here they are. Taps coming to try and stop them. We've also got Fulcrum in there. They've got about six guys that are going to push this sentry. Oh, here we go. Satan's, They're tossing nades. Satan throws a nade over. Oh, actually bounced back a little bit. That was a. That was really sketchy. Potentially rough grenade. Oh, here we go. Here we go. 3-0 Mike Mike goes down. 
We got tap and fulcrum, cold in two angles. Oh, CKYM. Oh, Matter goes it goes in and goes down. Someone traded with fulcrum, so it's only tap by himself. There's four dead Russians. Range of crows sneak looking in. Him and tap are shooting at each other. Taps reloading. Crows peeking. And they're still peeking through. Tap has taken cover behind some crates. Range of Crow with red tank close behind him. You know what? I think we're down to Tap, Fafinator, and Fergie for the U.S. That's it. Three guys. Oh, Range of Crows. Totally just ran in there. Is he? Oh, he just got inside. That's all. He didn't quite get into Tap's room. The Fafinator, he's got the line on that entrance. I think Ranger Crow just threw a, grid, a smoke grenade. I don't know where. Must have been right there in that hole. Crow's trying to peek. He's not too Lish sure said that about was it, the though. most fun. Lish says that's the most fun he had commanding in a while. It looked like fun. It was really cool watching you bounce that BTR all over the place and keeping keeping their mortar fire guessing. Range of Crows just meters. thinking about peeking that yeah, corner. Understand. He's only thinking about it. He's not actually doing it. Oh, oh there's a rocket. No. Oh, there's another rocket. That was not well planned. That was friendly. That, that was, was all friendly break. rocket, yeah. Yep. All right, Odie Tap just took down Shadowed Ritual as he tried to sneak in. Oh, that friendly rocket hurt. Just blew the shit out of Range of Crow. It's like a direct hit on him almost. Yeah, let's see what Tap's seeing here. He sees him. Not a lot of good angles for him. Oh, he just takes out empty though. As I say, he can't see very well. So he's holding off all these guys by himself. This is where Jenga needs to Listen for the reload and try and make it in before the saw gunner gets him. Oh, oh Jacob Master gets taken out by Fafinator. Not like that. So, Fafinator, Tap, and Fergie just laying, staying in one spot, making the Russians peek. And if the Russians don't communicate well with each other, then they're not going to be successful. And right now, it looks like they're not even talking to each other. Do you hear anything in local chat? I hear nothing right now. Yeah, they, they are falling apart. It, it, it might be entirely possible that they have no idea where they're getting shot from. Okay, they've got eight guys. They've got a full squad up on the northeast, as well as a BTR up there. And they're pushing in one at a guy. They're doing this trickle-down death rate run thing. It's, I mean, what do they think? They're going to run the U.S. out of ammo or something? You're absolutely right. This is, I mean, th everyone, this is not what you do. If you're looking for strategies and stuff, don't be Russia right now. Sensei Mike looks like he knows Tap's in that room. Yeah, He's he did. He hit, more tap. Backup. he hit Tap. Tap was bleeding, and Tap moved. He's okay. now got eight. All right, we got some communication from Sensei Mike. Going to try and clear with his squad. Hopefully he doesn't. You might just proceed right into this field of, field view of this saw gunner. Someone check that bunk. And here we go. This room oh, right here. there it goes, Fafinator Sensei Mike. Takes out Sensei Mike. That is a great place. And, and nobody knows where he got Fafinator. shot from. None of the Russians are looking. One of them was bandaging. They're 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 not really paying attention. It's 
times like this, tap is out of ammo. Having direct control of your dudes is really important because otherwise they'll you know go off in the weeds, and off in the weeds isn't very far away when it comes to clearing a compound or a building. They could be three feet from you and not be any help at all. Yeah, it looks like so big you guess keep real good control of you guys. Yeah, it looks like big guess is finally getting tired of. Watching their or yeah, big yes. Watching the rest of his team die. He's bringing his squad down. They're gonna have a shot at it. Oh man, they've had these guys waiting up here the entire time. Oh, the whole time. They probably got a bunch of grenades and stuff that they could throw. I mean, the only thing they have thrown is a rocket, and it was a team kill. So this is this is clutch. This is I mean, this is easy street for the U.S. Now they just got to sit there and look through holes and watch angles. It's so possible, easy for the but US. the only obstacle I can see is ammo. Yeah, yeah yep, I'm, sh I'm sure taps out. He's down to his pistol, so that's not good for him. Oh, Fafenator's got a full magazine, though, for that saw. And oh, Kirby's BTR. down, so that doesn't matter. That was nice. Now they're smoking it out. There's no friendlies inside, correct? I'm gonna start talking I wonder we'll see them stand there and watch it and, and be like, look at the pretty smoker if they're actually going to move. They've thrown a few in. It sounds like they're about to start tossing frags. They're sure there's no friendlies in there. I guess they learned from the RPG earlier. Yeah, they made sure there weren't any, I guess, huh? Yeah, this smoke is... I'm not sure who, who they're trying to hinder with that smoke the, themselves or the enemy. Well, it's it's going to hurt them more, I believe, because the enemy knows exactly where each other is. They know Definitely. right where each other are. They're and, not going to move. And they move. know where they're aiming. So it, when they see legs moving or they see a, a flare of a body, there's a grenade. It didn't do anything to Fafinator. Oh, it did. It got Fafinator. Took him out. That grenade no got him. No way. So we're down to tap wow. with a pistol. Oh, I, I call that luck. Tap can away definitely hear him digging. Yeah. All right, so open out. Let us do some more digging here. Tap is a camping specialist, so they're gonna have to probably run him really low on bullets. Hey, I'm gonna toss another grenade inside. That Hutch is about to dropped. toss another grenade in there. Tap's dropped seven guys from within freaking thirty feet of where he's at right now. He hasn't left this compound the whole time. The only one to outdo him was Demind on the BTR, who's got 12 right now. That's some work. And he might not be done. He could still get tapped. Demind coming in. Down he goes. Oh, pistol. Oh. That was Tap's second pistol kill. Oh, oh they're shooting at him. Hutch said, let's do this, bitch. Ready? Let's go. Here they come. Here. They're coming in on him. Hutch has the right idea. Get in there. Albrecht comes in. Get Kahuna sees him. Overwhelm him. him. Overwhelm him. Come oh, on, my Hutch. goodness. Oh. oh, he got the triple. He got the triple with the pistol. Oh, and if the, That's if embarrassing. One... That's got to oh, be embarrassing. Man. Oh, in comes the grenade. Lombardi bye bye, Tap. Pushed in. And that's oh, good game. Oh, wow. That was something else. What a hold. Got to be the 11 most kills for Tap kills. in the end. That's beautiful. In squad in general. <laughs> wow. I hear Tap screaming. He's... Ah! Ah, oh, that's funny. I can hardly believe I just witnessed this. Witness that. There's a bull strategy, Cotton. Good game, yeah. That, that, I mean, look at that. There's 27 to 34. I mean, <laughs> there was not much left of the Russians, and they. I'm glad they pulled it together in the end. That would have been pretty embarrassing. That was definitely one of the more interesting round ends I've seen. Yeah, what a great ending. That was awesome. That was awesome. And that was Operation Crazy Horse, too. USA against Russia <laughs> on Kohat. Uh, let's give a shout out, though. A big old shout out to, I don't know, you're going to see you're gonna see all the cool stuff. Like up on the top right of your screen, you'll see my name with the Squad Ops logo and the US flag because that's who I'm following. You'll see other stuff like when it was Last Man Standing and stuff like that the waiting screen before we load in 
um, anything, anything like that. All of those graphics are made by Nash. He's just a master of it. It's awesome. It looks great. And, and he puts in a lot of work to that. So shout out to Nash for putting in all that hard work. Good job to him. Also, let's, uh, let's give a shout out to OD tap for holding that freaking compound in the end with the pistol. I saw wow, him get four intense. kills with that thing. He got four or five kills with that. That was really cool. So good work for him. He comes out and he squad leads when he needs to. He's one of our regulars. With that, we got a shout out to the cameras, man. They're the ones, that, the multiple angles that make it so cool to see. There's Xbit, Big Yes, CeeLo, Server Error 404, CMYK Matter, Krusty the Sailor, Shadowed Ritual, J Remick, and Merrick 362. All those cameras, of course, myself and Pugachev flying around in admin cam the whole time. That was that was a good good end of that round. That was really cool. Look for those highlights on Reddit or something. We'll probably be showing some. As well as the mortar highlight in round one. Uh, with that, we're going to let you guys go. It's, it's uh, kind of late, probably, for some people. And uh, we'll see you on Saturday. We're going to run another event, one life operation, just like this one. Uh, probably new commanders, new squad leaders, whole new experience. My name is Muff. I'm here with Pugachev. The man behind the camera, his name is Penn. And we're going to let you go. This is Squad Ops. We'll see you later.